Crash Bandicoot 3. A lot of people love this game. This is a lot of Crash fans' favorite Crash game. I don't know. I like it, but it's my least favorite. Free at last. Great evil has come. What made you think that? Was it the getting dark at 2 p.m.? Or was it the ominous laughter? I sent you simple instructions to follow. Why is he afraid of, like, a mask? What can he do? What are Uka Uka's powers? Besides just being scary looking. There is still a way to amass the power needed to enslave this miserable planet. Why is the end game for villains always enslave the planet this, enslave humanity that? Wouldn't you get bored after a while? What's the matter? What's the matter? You know how to wield the sword? Too scrawny? I really enjoy some of the settings in Crash 3, but I think it's all the vehicle levels that kind of put a damper on it. Like this whole medieval world, it's really cool. Excuse me, Mr. Goat. Excuse me, Mr. Frog. All right, probably the only gem we're gonna get this entire game. You think after the second game, he would have bought like a fanny pack or something? This is the 90s. Why are we still storing our crystals where we shouldn't store our crystals? You get a stage like this, ugh. Taking a page out of Mario's book. Hey, don't get torched. At least the stage is kind of easy, though. Kind of relaxing, chill. So this is a submarine, and I thought it was just a scary-looking fish. The sharks ain't gonna do anything now. We're gonna light their ass up. So when I do finish the Insane Trilogy, I should probably get into Twin Sanity, right? But if I hold out long enough, I feel like they're eventually going to announce some kind of remaster, because they said there's a lot of plans for more Crash, and who knows? Hopefully stuff outside of a mobile runner. And speaking of mobile games, today's video is sponsored by Square Enix. Final Fantasy Brave Exvius is a mobile game that lets you join forces with legendary heroes from your favorite Final Fantasy games to experience a tale of high adventure right in the palm of your hand. Final Fantasy Brave Exvius is an all new story featuring original characters as well as summonable iconic characters from past series. The game is currently celebrating its fifth year with over 45 million downloads worldwide. Form your party and traverse dungeons to gather items and find hidden paths. You can also talk to people in towns to receive quests, which can be completed to get rare items and gil. And if that's not enough of a challenge, take your team into the PvP arena to face off against other players. And from now until December 15th, Final Fantasy Brave Exvius is running a Final Fantasy X event where players will receive a free Star Player Titus simply for logging into the game. You can also enjoy a daily free 10 summons for 21 days, which means you can pull a whopping 210 units during the event. And there's even more familiar faces arriving soon, including Neo Vision Yuna and Neo Vision Riku. There's no better time for new players to join with the many items and bundles discounted for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. In addition, new players will receive a guaranteed NV summon ticket just for logging in, which is a great opportunity to grow your roster with powerful units. So begins a new tale of crystals and the heroes who would save them. Download Final Fantasy Brave Exvius now and fight alongside your favorite heroes by clicking the link in the video description. Now available for iOS and Android devices. All right, I gotta play a little bit of Coco now. Ride the cute tiger cub. Ooh, didn't think I was gonna make that. Excuse me, Donkey Kong. Here we go, here we go. Segmented dragons don't scare me. The song is kind of a bop though. Even if like you bop your head. Woo, woo, okay. Come on, get up there. All that for a couple of Wumpa Fruits. I like how all they have is just like this one dude with the glasses and the flat top. It's the only henchman. Like we don't have it in the budget. Hire the same guy 50 times. It's like when voiceover actors just play like six characters in an anime. The Boneyard. I got you for three minutes. Sure, whatever you say, Cookie Monster. Oh great, it's one of these. He's like a cute little dinosaur though. It's not like that giant terrifying T-Rex or anything. It's like a little Triceratops. It's just Sarah from The Lamb Before Time. Man, did I hate her. Did anyone watch The Lamb Before Time and saw Sarah and was like, wow, that's a great character. We all like her. <laughs> Cortex wants to spend his entire budget on like space stations. Maybe hire some personnel. You got a tiger who skips leg day and the same dude wearing 50 different hats. It's a logistical nightmare. He's chasing me, he's like, your ass is grass. Or actually, I burned it, so I no longer have one. Where, where's the lava? There it is. Watch out. Woo, watch out for the nitro. Oh, you can run through it. That's totally fine. How many did I miss? I missed two boxes, that's it? Man, Wave Race 64 looks different. 
Like, I would have much preferred more platforming, not like, hey, let's stick Crash and Coco on, like, a jet ski. Make him, like, go through these Diddy Kong racing levels. You got the arrow telling you where to go because I'm dumb. As if I didn't know you just, I don't know, follow the, the path. Big jump. Big trick. Woo! Gonna be the first one to do a 900 on a jet ski. Okay, th this is a tight turn here. Unnecessary. It's like a Sonic stage. You know, you get to go fast for a little while, and then they're like, hey, let's, uh, let's slow down for a second. And I understand that, uh, Sonic levels require you to learn the level so you can go fast, but if the game is not that fun like Sonic Colors... Why are you boring me? I'm right! Unleash the tiger. Let him come. You're like four times my size. You need a weapon? Whoa, 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 whoa! Here comes the stampede. I think the stampede scene in uh, Lion King traumatized me when I was a kid. Real talk. I think uh, it gave me some form of PTSD. I'm gonna get trampled by a bunch of uh, lions and Coco's gonna be like, Crash, Crash, get up, Crash. Why? Why must you continue to be a thorn in our side? Why must you continue to be what? successful? It's because I asked viewers like you to like and subscribe to the channel, which you can do for free. It costs you zero dollars and zero cents. It's free 99. Kind of just back where I was. The belly flop isn't supercharged, it's just a regular belly flop. The belly flop is way more satisfying in this game, though. Look, now he's a wizard? My man cosplays for a living. Does he have a name? Wait, I got a trophy for getting turned into a frog? Who's the real winner here? Whoa, 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 whoa! Not in front of the goat! I'm flattered that, uh, he turned into a prince when he kissed me. That means I'm a princess. That's how it works, right? Poof. That one box. That cursed one box. Where is Aladdin? He's here somewhere. You don't need to steal bread anymore. I got plenty of wumpa fruit to share. What's a scorpion doing here? Doesn't seem like a natural habitat for a scorpion. Just gonna go around you. Oh. Sorry. Link is sweating somewhere. He just woke up from a dead sleep. Zelda, I just had the worst nightmare. Ah, I did get it. Oh yeah, I remember struggling with this because you you have to win the race. And also steering is abysmal. Like the Final Fantasy VII motorcycle segment. Only there's no violence. So I'm fourth place. I feel like I should be able to blow past these guys. And all these cops are here and they're not doing anything about this? This death race? Yeah, I want to restart level. Anyone ever played that Super Nintendo game, Biker Mice from Mars, which was also a cartoon? I used to love that racing game as a kid. I feel like this shouldn't be as hard as it is, but it is. It, just, it has no business. Come on. Just, you know what? I'm just going into the ravine. You can't make like a single mistake. You miss one thing, or if you bump anybody, game over. All right? That's, come on. Come on. First place is right there. How? I was trying to hit that boost, and it just, it wouldn't happen. I didn't know the timing of it, but it usually is the second light. But I feel like without that, unless you know that you can do that, this is nearly impossible. Oh, no, come on. No, no, no! Oh, oh, that shouldn't have worked, but it did. And we're not going to question it. Thank you, Vicarious Visions. So wait, we went back in time, and now the Sphinx is suddenly Cortex? Whoa! Ah! K. Rule. You're not supposed to be in this game. The, uh, the bonus stages are pretty consistent, though. Like, across the board, 1, 2, and 3, they're all fun. I do feel like they've gotten a lot easier in 3. Another thing is a kid that scared the hell out of me. Just like, I have these weird, messed up memories. Was, uh, the original Mummy movie with Brendan Fraser and how the scarabs used to, like, come out and crawl into people's skin. Now, wait a second. I don't think they had blow torches when they were building the pyramids. All right, easy does it. Did we get all the boxes here? Did we do it? We didn't do it, not even close. I'm not a huge fan of the vehicle levels, or I technically this is a, a, a wild animal, it's not a vehicle. But I think that's the reason why Crash 3 is my least favorite, because they kind of force these down your throat. How did I, come on, just get up. You're a lion, you're a tiger, you're a bear. Oh my. Oh, I fell off the stage. That's gotta hurt falling off the Great Wall of China. Uh, why is this tiger so sensitive? This tiger's more sensitive than half the people on the internet. There we go. Dude, are you kidding me? All right, now get me out of here. Don't care how many boxes we missed. Yes, that's right. Pet the kitty. Look, everybody, I'm petting the kitty. This guy's not good with a flamethrower. Come on, coming in there. Which way are we going? I don't have a kuku. -ku. He ditched me. Some friend. All right, I'm coming in. Mm. Oh, he's doubling up now. Oh, God. That thing is highly flammable. 
Even if you just touch the tank, it explodes. You fools, I'm powerful. I'm more powerful than you could ever imagine. I have the double jump now. I, I jumped into the lava. The double jump's a little weird because you can't delay it. You gotta like right away double jump. Oh God, he hit me right into the lava. I can't double jump, but this uh, dinosaur's got some hops. Does this little mud man think he's gonna take on a T-Rex? Is that T-Rex or, hang on, let's get a, get a better look. Yeah, I'd say so. Who thought running towards the camera was a good idea? You have like no time to anticipate any obstacle. Like I know there's lava coming up. Where is it? Where's the lava? Where, where is it? Where, there it is. Oh God, oh God! There we go, look at me. Round of applause, please. More underwater levels. Crash doesn't need missiles. It's nice that they gave them to him, but like, this is what I'm talking about. We don't need to force a vehicle every third stage. Excuse me. Oh God, uh, Yep, the food chain is as follows. You have shark, uh, and then bandicoot, and then uh, some other smaller fish. Man, there is a lot of garbage in the water over here. What are we like right underneath? like an Exxon Mobil plant. The Great Whites are going extinct solely because of Crash in the water firing missiles. Okay, I'm like trapped. Cool, that was that was great. I, I don't even care. At this point, I don't. it was right here the entire time and I kept dying. I'm gonna say it, which will manifest it into the world. I haven't gotten a game over yet, which maybe, just maybe, we can do this without getting one, but we need like a lot of lives. This guy's carrying a lot of pots. Be a shame if he were to drop all of them and die. Okay, we're really close to another one up, so let me not accidentally jump off the stage. This dude's just throwing scimitars. Hey, buddy, scimitars don't just grow on trees. Oh, look at this. Two gems. Is it my birthday? Oh, come on, man. Ugh, these are so awful. I just want to get more good noodle stars. Uh-oh, it's the popos. Act casual. <laughs> Can't they be okay with us finishing top three? In Mario Kart, at least you get a trophy. I really can't beat wacky races over here. I could totally do it. Oh, I got run over. Come on. Can we last minute come from behind win? Please, you're right there. No. It's gonna be like a red shell or something. I'll, I'll settle for a green shell. I don't know the items in Crash Team Racing. So uh, this is it. Just gotta pull ahead. Get out of my way. I knocked him forward. Hit it. Hit the boost. Hit the boost. Use the boost to get through. We did it. First try. Oh, it's a, it's a two headed ogre. Is he wielding meat? For real, it's a good thing that I didn't have to uh, lose any lives on that other stage because that would have been the place to, to get the game over. Oh, they're chicken. He's got like two whole ass chickens. A pretty easy stage. Come on, throw a challenge at me. I guess the challenge is the weather. Just the, they have very low tourism rates here. It's always raining. No one really wants to go there. It's like Seattle. Just kidding, I like Seattle. I gotta say, some of these henchmen are way better than others. Like this dude, he's got magic shooting like fireballs at me. And then you got like this two-headed henchman right here. Who, he's not even attempting to come after me. Oh, he's got to jump on his head. But which head? And would you look at that? It's time for another boss fight. Here I come, Entropy. What, what are we doing? How am I getting over there? Okay, I see. I see. He's going to just set the bridge up. Okay, I'm going to go back now. Oh, God. Shouldn't have did that. Whoa. Oh. Homie's got the homing. Dude's got to work on his cardio. He's out of breath after like 15 seconds of exertion. This might be one of the easier boss fights. Come on, mix it up. He's like, you want platforming? All right, I'll give you platforming. Give me that fork. Oh, what did we get? Death tornado spin. Seriously, you can just go full Tasmanian devil now. I think it's very smart of Neo Cortex to require everyone to at least have a PhD if they're going to join his like super villain army. You have Dr. Engine, Dr. Entropy. Also, your first name has to start with the letter N, so I guess that really narrows it down, makes it very specific. Can I just, like, death tornado spin him? We want to play with our shiny new toy. Who said Crash couldn't have a move set for Super Smash Brothers? Look at this thing. Wow, we really turned this thing around. We went from having, like, two lives left to now we got 16. I swear I double jumped there. No, no! Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, even in Crash 3, they're like, abuse the animals for rewards. Come on, two more. Y yeah, I know you got two more in there. Come on, don't be cheap. Destroy all monkeys. Get your hands off me, you damn dirty ape. Um, did I do something wrong? Woo! Sliding on through. Oh, close. Bye-bye, blimps. Another obligatory vehicle stage. I can barrel roll. How do I have 59% already? Can I get health? 
In editing, can we just turn this into like a really cool Star Fox reference? Switching to all range mode. This final blimp's going down like, My Emperor! I've failed you! These Coco stages are a little more bearable since they're kind of just free range. Whoop! I'm gonna slip right through. Look at this dude over here swinging the anchor around. Who does he think he is? Larry the Lobster? 500 yards! Wow! Let's see an instant replay. Gotta get some mustard on that. Give me that one up. All right, we're out of here. We're, okay, wow, that seems a little high tech compared to the uh, pirate swinging an anchor around. Really up the budget for this stage. I'm gonna try something. All right, does this work? How? <laughs> All right, not bad. Just kinda hoping we could clear a little more. None of these obstacles make sense. Crash 3 walked so Crash 4 could fly. You know, I do love these games, but I'm a little sick of the pain by now. I can't wait to wrap the Insane Trilogy, because I, I promised it, I'm fulfilling that promise, and now I have other promises I'd like to fulfill. I gotta play Sonic 06. So we gotta go from playing good games to playing bad games. Do we bounce on his head? Bounce on his stupid flat top? Yes, we do. <laughs> Tomb Raider. How are the new Tomb Raider games? Are they any good? Because I stopped playing Tomb Raider after, like, Tomb Raider 2. I think I had the trilogy back in the day. Oh, my guy, that's a lot of spikes. My guess is water is bad, uh, and water equals drown. This guy's got a giant shield. He can't even... How do we do this? Do we go over him? When in doubt, just death spin. All right, we made it. Engine, you stupid missile head. Let's throw... Oh, it's Coco's time to shine. He's gotta shoot his belly button. There we go. Belly button destroyed. Let's get that other shoulder. Come on. No, okay. See, now the gun is a little... Oh, or not. Or I guess it's easy. Easiest boss in the game. I don't remember if there's more. Um, is that another weapon? Or are you just happy to see me? Okay, there is more. This has just become an R-type game. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that was fast. The fruit bazooka. Sounds delicious. The hardest, um... <gasps> oh, I love it. Okay, this is going to make things way easier. Crash gonna hit the game-winning snipe and then get in the Xbox Live lobby and start talking smack. And the best part is it doesn't eat up any of my Wumpa fruit. I just have unlimited. I like how they basically ran out of things to do at this point. They're like, I don't know. Give him a bazooka. Whatever, it's fine. This is the last good game we're gonna make for a while. So with all the platform fighters coming out, do you really think that, uh, PlayStation All-Stars 2 is gonna be a thing? You think they're gonna get in on it? I mean, do you think that's potentially why Crash just never came to Smash? Because they're making a sequel to PlayStation All-Stars? It just feels so shoehorned in. Like, it's so weird to aim. Oh, come on, I hit you. We can't be stopped now that we have the bazooka. Look, I'm so good at the game, they're starting me so far back. They're like, did you see Chuck win on his 18th try last time? We better start him further back. And you know what? Move the cop cars, too. The name of the stage is Orange Asphalt, but uh, the asphalt is, it's not orange. It's regular asphalt. It is right there. I think very well we can do this. For real? Like, first try? For real? For real? I'm a god. You know what? End the video. I'm a god. You don't need to see anymore. Crash is like, Sarge, I have him in my crosshairs. What should I do? Take the shot. Excellent. Now head to the extraction point. Can I actually shoot? I could shoot the nitro crates, can I? Yes, I can. That makes things a lot easier when you go back and try and 100% the game. And you can shoot anyone and everything. Shooting this dude in the window. Go ahead, pop your head out. Peek. Watch what happens. I don't even need all these lives anymore. Just charity at this point. All right, shoot down the bombers, which I assume are the red ones. We're gonna kill five of the... Oh, yeah, they are red. You know how I can tell you that? Because uh, the bottom right of the screen... We have a plethora of lives. We have, like, two more stages to go. They're gonna lob this meatball at us. Nice, easy stage. Come on, go down. I'm a natural-born pilot. I mean, look at me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Hot on his tail. All right. Thank you for flying JetBlue. Please be careful when taking your luggage from the overhead storage, as items may have shifted during the flight. This really has been a wild ride, just playing through Crash 1, 2, and 3 again. I want to say for the first time uh, since I was a kid, but for the first time since, I don't know, like 2016. Listen, if the light wants to go out, that's totally fine, because uh, I could probably see in the dark. I was just kidding. Oh, hang on. Super crash. I can run through the nitro. This feels like a very underutilized mechanic in crash games. Like, how often do you get to get, like, super akuku? This whole run feels like my victory lap for finishing this series again. They're like, Chalk, you've suffered enough. Now enjoy. Flex on Vicarious Visions. Wait, I, 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 there's like a... There. I didn't know if there was a hole there. Final boss time, I, I think. I mean, it's Dr. Neo Cortex, so I assume so. 
Unless there's another boss afterwards. You know, Neocortex really has no right to talk smack. Considering the final boss fight in Crash 2 is probably the easiest boss fight ever. Oh, whoops. I got vaporized. <laughs> Let me in the bubble. Let me in. All right, enough screwing around. We got 13 lives. Let's not use all of them being funny. I don't remember what I have to do. I love this Dragon Ball style beam struggle that uh, Aku Aku and Uka Uka are having. There we go. So let's just right, come on, get back into your whole hermit. You know, I much prefer that over the lasers. Takes up far less real estate. There we go. Come on, back, throw him in. Come on, get, get in there. What do you think is at the bottom of that pit anyway? All right, one more time. Come on, get in there. And that's it. Now we can run super fast. Because that's just what you want to do when you beat the game. You want to do it again. And so wraps the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. The promise has been fulfilled. And I'm like Genie at the end of Aladdin. The shackles have come off. And we did it without getting a game over.